Hey guys, how's it going? So today I will be talking about the perfect plastic putty that I use for pretty much anything and everything. Um, as you can see here, let me zoom in, or not zoom in, just focus it. Uh, this is the perfect pl plastic putty I got on Amazon, and I think it was uh, $9, so $8 or $9 for the whole tube. And it fills, like it says on the bottle, it fills fine gaps and creates invisible seams. Uh, I do not use this putty to get rid of seam lines because it doesn't work for that. Uh, it doesn't work to get rid of the seam lines for my models or for any seams that I do on my aircraft. I just use it to fill like tiny gaps uh, and a few other larger gaps that I have in my aircraft. Uh, but like you've seen in my recent video I did on the lead wiring, I told you that the, the ejection seats, the F4 Phantom ejection seats, oops, uh, let me get light in here and then focus it. Oh my gosh, it won't focus. But anyway, uh, dang. Anyway, the Ravel ejection seats, as you can see in here, have uh, re like really slight uh, gaps on them. Man, I'm just trying to get this thing to focus. There we go. Uh, so. The gaps along this top part right here that I'm trying to get rid of, I just use uh, the perfect plastic putty in here. Same thing on the other side, fill that in uh, and get rid of those because those don't belong on there. Uh, so I just use them for that and I do use them for other gaps in my aircraft that I build. Uh, but this stuff is water-based. You can just put water on top of it to get rid of it, to get the access off that you put on your aircraft. Uh, and it does come in a tube uh, with a screw-on lid on the top. Uh, and it's white. It's not any other color. Uh, it doesn't come in any other color or anything. But it does come in the tube, and it's pretty soft in the tube. Um, so if you want it to get it softer, I put a little water in the tube. Uh, make sure the putty is down there all the way though, and then put a little water in the tube so it doesn't dry out. But I have heard that some people hate this stuff and some people love it. Um, and I like it. I don't really use any other stuff uh, for uh, filling in gaps, but for getting rid of seam lines, I do use this, the Tamiya Liquid Surface Primer for that. Uh, let me focus it right there the Tamiya liquid surface primer this is the gray I got from Hobby Lobby I think it was like 10 bucks uh, something like that for the thing but anyway I use that to get rid of the seam lines on my aircraft and I'll be doing another video of that later uh, but for this stuff I want to show you how to use it how to apply it to your gaps and to your uh, not seam lines. I don't usually do seam lines like I said, but I do use gaps. What you want to do is, of course, unscrew the lid and you want to take a toothpick. Uh, you don't want to take the toothpick as it is. You want to flatten it out. So I like to just break off the front end uh, tip and just toss it aside. Uh, and then kind of tap it down on the front end of it so it becomes flat. Uh, so it's no longer pointed. And then I use some flat like these uh, pliers they're flat and I like to just take the tip with the pliers and flatten it so it becomes like a tiny spoon uh, so now it's no longer flat but instead as you can see uh, it's just like a little spoon right there uh, but anyway take that and then you want to fill it up with with your putty and then you want to take it on your ejection seat whichever or wherever you're filling it doesn't have to be the ejection seat wherever you're filling or whatever you're filling you want to just put it right in that gap let me zoom in for the video uh, so i can show you how to do it um, so you want to put it in there and you want to apply it 
inside that gap and you want to put it all the way in there because it's going to dry it doesn't take a whole lot of time to dry uh, it's going to take you about 10 to 12 minutes for it to completely dry um, so you can wipe it off with water to get the access off with water it also does sand I didn't mention that but it also does sand you don't want to use uh, two coarse of grit to sand it down because it's just gonna scrape it right off uh, this is a water-based putty so it doesn't bond with plastic at all uh, so you're just gonna have it on there and you're gonna get it off with water you don't want to sand it down with two coarse of grit otherwise it's just gonna scrape it all off of there and you want to leave it down to dry for about 10 to 12 minutes to dry completely and I'm not gonna wait in the video for it to dry that long I'm just gonna do show you this one that I've recently done this has been drying for about 30 to 45 minutes uh, as you can see right there uh, uh, man trying to zoom in it but anyway as you can see right here it has been drying uh, is dried and then it's pretty hard on top of it so I'm going to use that uh, to show you how to get it off so this is the one that's not uh, ready or not dry yet and this other one is the one that is dr currently dry that I will be just getting the access off whoops hold on my camera quit uh, okay this is the one that's currently dry right now and all you have to do is just take a uh, a q-tip just you could buy them anywhere I mean they sell them everywhere and you want to just put them in water uh, this is water that I have here uh, you don't want to use alcohol or anything because it's pretty uh, it'll get most of it off and more than you want to sometimes and you just want to take it uh, again I gotta zoom in there we go and then focus it of course uh, but anyway yep you want to zoom in and then you want to turn off the light here and then you want to just wipe it down with a q-tip your wet q-tip it does have to be wet and you can go over the surface more than once if you want to uh, just to get that access off the way you want to on there just like that uh, and m almost all of it does come off except for the stuff that's left in the line or in the gap that you had before uh, and you can go over it several times uh, right here and you want to let it dry after that you don't want to paint it uh, automatically or just right away because you want to let it dry because it is after you apply the water on it it does moisten the putty and then you're gonna have a mess if you just paint it but anyway this is how you get it off of there uh, and like I said before you can sand this stuff but you want to use like 400 uh, 400 and above grit for this stuff or you can even polish it sand it like with uh, micro mesh sanding strips if you want to uh, but yeah don't use anything that's larger than that because it will just ruin the putty it will just basically rip it out of the uh, out of the line that you have or in there out of the gap that you have uh, so anyway you want to let it dry this is what it currently looks like uh, right there you have it just in the small gaps right there uh, and on the other side as well and you can see that little access in there that's still left uh, but you can get that out with a toothpick after it has dried you can use the same toothpick that you had before because uh, that's pretty easy just turn it around and get that excess off that you had in there uh, and just that part that you left a little much in there or just didn't want uh, of course take it off and then you can wait for it to dry again uh, and then go over it just one more time I usually do that that's what I like to do because it does leave a better uh, a better portion of the putty out of it uh, so it just looks a little better 
but that is the putty I use. I have used other putties before, like the Tamiya uh, lacquer-based putty. It is annoying, extremely annoying, because it actually ate through some of my plastic when I put too much on it. So this stuff is perfect. I like to use this stuff for almost everything. Uh, you, the thing is, you can't use it for gigantic gaps, though, uh, because it will... It doesn't actually attach to the surface, it just sits there. Uh, but of course the paint seals it in, uh, but I don't like to use it for anything larger than... Uh, like let's say you had a hole that's this big in there. Uh, I would use it for that, but nothing larger than that because I mean it, it will be noticeable that it's just putty unless you sand it down extremely fine and conform it to the surface like the surface looks. Uh, but anyway, this stuff is water that I have here, so it does dilute with water. Uh, you could just wipe it right off, like I said, wait for it to dry a while, and then just wipe it off. You don't have to, the awesome thing about this stuff is you don't have to wait too long. Like in other lacquer-based putties, uh, you have to only wait about 10 minutes and then let it dry, so it's perfect. Uh, and then after that, just move on with your putting and then getting rid of those gaps and those small uh, seam, just small seams that you have for that. But anyway, that is how you use this stuff. I use it for everything except for gigantic holes, like I've said. Uh, and this is my F4G Revell 132nd scale uh, Martin Baker ejection seat that I have uh, fixed the gaps in there before I paint. So. Uh, as you can see, it really worked well with that, and I hope that you can use it and uh, pur purchase it. I got it off of Amazon. I don't know if I told you that, but I got it off of Amazon for about ten bucks, nine or ten dollars. Uh, and I will post the link below the video uh, on how to get it and the price for it and stuff. So uh, this stuff works great. Buy it if you want to, but I'm sure that you have your own favorite putty. Uh, but yeah, this stuff is what I use mainly 99% of the time, just because I don't have any larger seam lines or just holes or gaps uh, that I have to get do the job, because uh, this does the job mainly for everything that I have. But yeah, uh, do that and then you can buy it you can buy it on websites. I don't have a local hobby shop that sells this stuff here. But that's why I had to buy it off of a website. So if you want it, I will post the link in the video below. Uh, post the link below the video. Uh, check it out. And then uh, hopefully you can find a use for it that you need. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.